Hello everyone and welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 video. Today we're going to talk about character creation. And it's a beginner's guide, so it's more like for new players, not uh, like veteran players. Because next month we're getting the next expansion, End of Dragons, which is going to attract a lot of new players. So I wanted to kind of make videos for all the new players so they can like get up to speed with the game. But let's get back to it and let's go direct to the character creation. So in the background you can see I have opened the character creation you use when you go into the game. Basically if I go back you can see here when you have all your different characters here. You have this one here like a slot where it has like a plus and here you can like create a new character. You have five different races you can choose between. You have Char which is like a uh, like a beast. You have normal humans. You have Norn which is like a big Vikings like yeah, basically with very big Vikings. You have a Sura, which is small gnomes. And you have like Solvari, which is like a, a plant people. Like, you know, they are basically made up of plants. Yeah. Each of the races has their own race spells. So they have like some unique race spells. For example, Norns can transform them into uh, animals like bears and stuff like that. Uh, the gnomes can summon like a robot. Root humans can summon like some devil dogs and you know so on. It's 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 not that important. Like if you want to play like min maxing uh, in game, none of the spells the races really have is really like um, being used. But it's it's still cool. You, I mean, you can you can like go in and find all the spells. I don't want to like make this video like too long. So you can you can find out the spells each of the races have. But still, just gonna say each of the races has different spells. Um, but it's not really been getting used in like in 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 game but like if you want to min max but still when double clicking on each of these races you will then be able to choose a male version or female version going into the next screen you will have to choose a profession which offering other games would be called classes but in this game they call it professions and same as in other games they call them jobs so basically jobs profession class same each of these like professions is like you can say um, categorized in armor so you can see you have warrior guardian revenant is which is basically using heavy armor then you have ranger thief engineer which is using medium armor um, and then you have necromancer elements list and mesmer which is losing using light armor so basically if you want to like have three characters who all use the same armor for crafting and stuff like make it easier for yourself you can go Necromancer, Elementalist, and Mesma. And again, Ranger, Thief, Engineer is also going to save this, share the same gear. And Warrior, Guardian, and Revenant is also going to save the same gear. It's important to know that the armor you use on, like when you tr when you unlock armor skins on your Warrior, um, you will be able to use those skins on Guardian and Revenant, but not on the others because they use they use heavy, they use the, the medium, and they use like light armor. So you just have to remember that difference, um, but still, and it's it's not like, I mean, yeah, of course, the top classes up here is a bit more tankier than down below, but still, it doesn't matter that much. Like, it's not because, it, I, I mean, Necromancer down here is still really, really, really tanky um, because of some life stuff it has, but Warrior definitely is a lot of tanky, like has a lot of HP, has a lot of self-healing. So Warrior is definitely very tanky. Guardian is very like, you can be a very nice support on them. Remnant also has some cool supportive spells and damaging, you know, it's like all the different specs you see here are able to either be a supporter, tanky version, you know, stuff like that. I recommend going to the website called Meta Battle. I actually think yeah, it's like metabattle.com. They have like really good guides on different, like all the meta builds. So if you want to like see, okay, who can be the best, like which is the meta healer right now, the meta tank, stuff like that. Remember these things can change the next expansion. So don't look too much into it, but like still, but yeah, for example, Guardian right now is like Guardian and Rangers like right now the, the meter healers like because Ranger can turn into like from different other specs can turn into Druid and do like very good like boons, buffs and healing. But Guardian also has like insane good healing. Where for example, Warrior, they want you to be a Warrior in raids because they have like uh, fractals because of this uh, the banners they can create. Like and they can summon some kind of like flag banners which gives like buffs. Uh, Mesma has a really cool tank build. Like there's a lot of that's there's like tons of builds. Like each of the characters have like I don't know ten different builds you can play. 
Um, but I still recommend you go to meta battle and actually see like the different meta builds that is popular right now. But still, like the, the most important thing I would say to you personally is find the class which talks most to you. Like, I mean, how they look here is also how they're going to be in the game. Like Borneo, you can see, okay, it's a typical warrior. It's all about war, heavy armor, stuff like that. Guardian, typical paladin with holy spells like you know the drill revenant is a bit like like a demon ghost warrior which still is all about battle ranger you're gonna have your pits you're gonna have your bow you're gonna have a sword axe you can even be a druid and do healing thief all about daggers pistols you can even get a, 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 a staff and do actually a bit of healing on it and so on you know like a samurai build and so on so you know the typical rogue thief goes stealth engineering is um very different from other classes in other games basically engineering can like summon toolkits so you get new weapons and so on it's actually quite cool like summon robots typical engineering necromancer are all about dead like dead spells can use a two-handed uh, sword build where you're like a reaper running around and killing people with a two-hand sword that's really that, that's my favorite build um but also the typical necromancer builds with throwing curses and stuff like that. Elementalist, you already know it. Mage, fire, water, electric, all that stuff. And Mesmer. Um, Mesmer is probably like the most rarest one. It's probably the one you're not going to see in other games. It's, um, it's actually about illusions. Like you're creating illusions and dealing damage on range most. You can also have a few closer with the sword but yeah but mesma is all about creating illusions arcane damage stuff it's actually a pretty cool class i i highly recommend you if you haven't tried mesma i would probably say like try it out because it's actually it's very interesting especially the two-handed sword build they have you would imagine the two-handed sword would be like attacking with the two-handed sword but you're actually using it for shooting out laser which is pretty cool in my opinion but yeah try a try the different classes go to meta battle and see which builds is like end game builds and you know kind of get an idea of how they play them going to the next page you basically change like you know the hate of them the bother the body the body you know how we want them and you can also hide armor so you can see more details like color of the fur hit options you know like all this different, different standard things you have and you can even like in the start choose like what kind of color should your armor be just like if you want to like customize that if you wanted you can always change that later in the game so don't worry and then you have to like choose some like more law specific things like the story about your character which is going to like impact the main story you have trust me these these things are gonna they can impact your main story a bit like especially like stuff like this where like how you use character which um legion are you proud of to be in and so on and which guard do you favor and yeah just just like think about these things you have to choose and then put in a name you can even have a name with a single name or you can even do a space and have like two names so for example like we'll call myself dwarlin youtuber or something like that but yeah pretty cool and again you can also like have a pre quick preview like okay if i click on norn how do they look as a warrior hmm okay i like that i definitely like that but what about what about sulvario how do they look like a warrior ah oh, very interesting that also looks even good i like that but what about let's say uh, asura how do they look like as a warrior wow that's the coolest thing i've ever seen I want to main this one, you know, you get what I mean, like, or going down to engineering, stuff like that. It, it's pretty cool. So try it out, play with different classes, create them, see which spells they have, have fun. Yeah. And again, this is just like a basic beginner guide for character creation, to, like to introduce you to the character creation. Yeah. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't tried out Guild Wars 2, you can free register with the link in the bottom. Like I have a link in my description. You can sign up for free, use that link if you want, or you can even pre-order the game if you want the expansions. Keep in mind, if you do a free account, you can still level all the way up to max level, but in the normal game, like normal continent. But then also you can use my link in the bottom to pre-order the game, which is gonna benefit me. Like 
it's like a sponsor link because I'm an arena partner for the game. So just saying, it's going to help me out. Um, but yeah, else, thanks for watching. Have a great evening and see you in another video. Bye. <laughs>